What's up everyone? All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about Charles Schwab and the race to zero. So this has been a huge week for active traders and even passive traders because brokers left and right have been dropping their commissions to zero. You can check out in the description some of the links to the other videos I've done on um, E-Trade, Ameritrade, and Interactive Brokers. But right now we're gonna talk about Charles Schwab. Of course, we can't talk about them without at least touching on Robinhood. So you can see uh, right up here on my screen share, I've got uh, Robinhood or on my desktop, on my laptop screen. So in 2013, Robinhood came on the scene with free trades. Now it's a free trading app that many of you guys have probably used or have seen. And the problem ultimately is that it's so primitive, it's not gonna work if you're an active day trader trying to trade three to five times a day. It's, it's suitable for someone who's a passive trader who wants to throw a little money into the market. And I think they were trying to attract you know, millennials and, and just get people to download the app and, and put in, you know, $150 so they could buy a couple shares of, you know, Facebook or Apple or something like that. So they've had a following, no doubt. And over the last few years, it seems that they must be putting a dent into some of the uh, market share for the big brokers like Ameritrade, Interactive Brokers, E-Trade, and Charles Schwab, because this week it is really, um, you know, kind of hit all-time records with all of them dropping their commissions down to zero dollars per trade. Now, Interactive Brokers um, was the first to do it in this last um, kind of wave of, of price cuts. What they did was they released a, a new kind of platform or a new product offering that's a very similar offering to Robinhood. It seems like an app. I think it might work on the desktop, but it seems very primitive and it doesn't have a lot of features. Charles Schwab has done something a little differently. They just said across the board, commissions rolling back to zero. And so let's look at the Charles Schwab website uh, for one second, because this is kind of interesting to me. So here we've got um, the pricing and right here it says, um, we believe you should always know what you're paying and never overpay. All right, so right here it says um, $4.95. If I refresh this page, Let's see, I think it was on the refresh. It's like, it's this pricing change is so new that um, it does, it's like the website isn't even fully updated. So uh, let's see, Schwab ETFs, um, those have been zero for a while and stocks for a while were $4.95 uh, per trade. So now let's just go to the Charles Schwab main website. Here we go. Zero commissions on online equity trades starting on um, October 7th. All right, and then they're saying, does E-Trade do it? No. Does Fidelity do it? No. And they've got this satisfaction guarantee. All right, so we can read more about this. But uh, the long story short is that um, they've released this new, um, this new commission structure, which is zero. And that obviously is a, you know, it's a, it's a huge change. What I'm really curious about, and if you're currently using Charles Schwab, I would love for you to put down in the comments um, what you think this is gonna mean for you. If it's just simply the platform stays the same and now your commissions are zero, which is awesome. Their platform's not amazing, but it's also not terrible. And you can use it if you're an active trader. Um, you know, Or do you think that they're going to be you know, giving you free commissions, but then adding in um, you know, taking things out that are standard and making them premium features, like having to add on um, f complete market data for $100 or $200 a month or something like that, because they've got to cover their bases somewhere. Uh, ultimately, I think this is one of the biggest questions is how do brokers like Robinhood, how do they do it? And so let's look a little bit at some of the stats on Charles Schwab. Right now, Schwab says they get only about 8% of their total revenue from commissions. So ultimately dropping commissions to zero, it's only gonna hurt them by 8%. In fact, they say it's only gonna have a three to 4% impact on net uh, profit, their net profit. And I think the reason is because they currently have 3.7 trillion, with the T, trillion dollars of assets under management. And so ultimately what they really want to make sure of is that people keep their accounts with Charles Schwab. 
that people that trade maybe only once or a couple times a month or a couple times a quarter or even if they trade a couple times a week that they keep their money there because those assets under management is what they really are clearly making their money on because it's not the commissions. They estimate that um, this drop in commissions is going to cost them between 90 and 100 million dollars a quarter but ultimately um, that's still only a fraction because they're going to do really well. So their stock isn't suffering nearly as much as TD Ameritrade. We'll talk about TD Ameritrade in another video. If you guys haven't already seen it, you can click the link below to check it out because their stock, it was $50 last week. It's at $33 today. They are taking, they, this is the worst week they've had in 20 years. And that's because commissions are a larger percentage of their profit. But for Schwab, you know, I mean, they're, they're going to have to try to make up the ground somewhere. And if they can do it by enticing more people to join the brokerage and then they've got more assets under management, well, that's probably why they're thinking it's only going to have a 3 to 4% short-term impact on net profit because they're going to make up the ground on the other side. So leave, leave your questions and comments below. I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about this. And check out the other videos on E-Trade, Ameritrade, Interactive Brokers. And uh, yeah, until next time, happy trading. If you're still watching, you must have really enjoyed that video. So why not subscribe and get email alerts anytime I upload new content? Remember, when you subscribe, you become a member of the Warrior Trading family.